It's the wireless Hayaxa pool thermometer. Drop it in your pool or tub and relax. The easy to read screen displays the temperature of your aqueous environments from across the kitchen or across the patio. Welcome to Eclectic Ideas. The wireless Hayaxa pool thermometer comes equipped with a lanyard so you can just loop it through this slot here and hang it poolside so you don't have to snorkel out to retrieve it. Our Best Way Spa has a thermometer on it. So we're gonna just drop the Hayaxa pool thermometer in and see if the Best Way thermometer and this one agree. Hey, Axe is showing 91 degrees and best way agrees. If two completely different manufacturers agree on the temperature, that's a good sign it's accurate. We've got the base unit out of the spa and you'll notice it's not backlit when it's off the charger. We had to bring it out near the thermometer to sync them. After syncing, plug it back into the charger and you get a constant digital readout. The display brightness is great when the sunlight's streaming through the window and the display at night is bright enough to read across the kitchen. At a glance, I can realize that I need to go turn on the spa heater. We set our spa to 91 degrees and hey, acts to show she's holding steady. Tonight's weather is a balmy 74 degrees with 50% humidity at 8.05 p.m. Let's unbox the hey, acts a pool thermometer and see what's inside. The first item out of the box is a charger. And then you get this sleek looking thermometer. You get a tethering lanyard. And here's the base unit to display our temperature readings remotely. Common troubleshoot scenarios are on the back. And here is your user manual and it goes through all the the various setup and features. So here's our charger. Let's connect the base unit to the charger using this port. Our display screen is on. The set mode button gives three levels of brightness to adjust the backlight or turn it off. For the time function, keep holding the set mode button. Hit the minus button. You'll see 24 hours. Hold the minus button and go to 12 hours. Hit the set mode button on the left and with the plus button on the right, you can set your time. We got our time set and right here it says 24 degrees Celsius. Well, we want Fahrenheit. So we're gonna press the plus button for Fahrenheit. And here's the readout for humidity. Right here that's flashing is a little thermometer icon. And we're going to sync the thermometer to this base unit and it'll call for the readout. This end of the thermometer goes into the water and monitors your temperature. So to set this up, basically let's just unscrew the lid, the top, and just lift the lid off. This gray cap comes off and then this part lifts off. And under the hood, you'll find three different channels you can set. So you could have three thermometers. There's one, two, and three. The switch above the three channels toggles the display between Fahrenheit and Celsius. We want ours in Fahrenheit, so we'll just leave it there. For demonstration purposes, if you lift this top plastic off, you'll see there's a little rubber or silicon gasket underneath it, and that's what's going to make the unit nice and watertight. Let's fit that cover back on snugly. Now, under the lid, we have the battery compartment, and this just slides out to hold two AA batteries. Pop your batteries in this tray, and this only fits in one direction. To signal our thermometer, we're going to set the channel to one. Now, the light will come on, and when that happens, just screw the top back on your thermometer. Now, that thermometer icon in the middle of the display display. It's going to show it set to channel one. It's showing the temperature right now in channel one, two, and three. Back to channel one. Just keep pressing this minus key and the base unit's going to show that it's signaling that thermometer. And when the light turns red, it should automatically match channel one, two, or three, whatever you have it preset for. And there it is. There's the red and it's adjusted. Lab test. Now that the unit's synced, let's sync the unit. We're serving water on the rocks. And we can see here our temperature is dropping. It keeps dropping. You're getting colder, so it's doing a good job keeping track of our temperatures. Let's pop some batteries in the back of our base unit right here. Just pop them in here, let's unplug it, and the backlight goes night-night. No more backlight to conserve batteries, so that's a helpful feature. Plug it back in and your backlight returns. The display keeps you alerted to low, medium, and high readings on your water temperature. Check out the Hayaxa wireless pool and spa thermometer to monitor your family's watering hole. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.